What's going on guys? It's been a while and today I've had on over to my local scuba shop. I am a certified scuba diver now so I'm heading on over to pick up some equipment to rent. I'm trying out some uh, different brands to see which breathe better mostly on the regular side. Um, again thank you guys for all the support between YouTube, the marketplace, and my brand new job that I actually am now being paid to be a human being. Um, I've been able to put aside enough money to support myself and buy equipment. So <clears throat> I'm actually going to be, um, over the next few weeks, starting to practice buoyancy skills and other types of skills. And now that I'm free of COVID, at least, I was going to do this a few weeks ago, and then COVID went through my family, so I had to self-isolate for two weeks. And it's a bummer, but it is what it is. So today I'm heading on over to get some equipment, and I will be taking my new GoPro in the pool with me, and my brothers will be passing it around like hot potato. Also, if you are a scuba diver in Florida and you're looking for a buddy, I have about four log dives, my four checkout dives. So I'm working to try and get the number to 10 over the next few weeks. I'm going to try and do a handful of pool dives, working on skills. So <laughs> come a few months from now, I'm going to start heading all over the state of Florida, diving in springs, uh, rivers, hopefully off the coast a lot. There's tons of wrecks and things to see. So Depending on what you guys think of this, I might put some of the footage on YouTube and let you guys see it too. I did, again, I got a GoPro, and I wasn't going to, but the deal was too good, so. <laughs> we'll see what you guys think. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you are a diver in Florida and you're fine with the fact that I don't have a lot of experience yet, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe we can meet up somewhere in Florida and dive one day. Who knows? Uh, yep, I'll see you guys back once I've got some rental equipment from the shop. Before we get into this, I want to clarify something. Um, first off, the hose that you're going to see hanging behind me the entire time, the connector was uh, the connector on the hose was either broken or loose, so it wouldn't connect into the inflator remote on the uh, BCD. So it's hanging behind me, and unfortunately, uh, <laughs> on top of that, the um, the mask that I was using was flooding on me. So I had to swap it after like ten minutes. I don't know how much of the footage has me, but I, the mask changes halfway through. Also, quick disclaimer, do not do anything you see in this video unless you are certified. This is a very dangerous uh, hobby, so do not, do not do anything that you see me doing in the pool <laughs> unless you are certified.
final verdict, um, the Ziegle Octo is no good. I am going to go ahead and double up on the uh, Atomic brand one that you saw on the sleeker black and gray one, not the bright yellow one with the Z on it. Um, the Atomic one, you have to really use a lot of force to get air out, and that is the opposite of what you want. You want the air to flow as naturally as possible without free-flowing, So, at least for my taste. So that was a no-brainer. Um, the, the backpack, the BCD fits really well. I was quite surprised. I thought I was going to hate it because Zeagle hasn't impressed me yet, but that, um, that brand actually worked really well <laughs> and I have no complaints against it. You uh, probably saw me holding my nose a lot as well, which is something I am still trying to practice equalizing. I'm not great at it. It's something that isn't natural yet. So I have to keep doing Vasalva and Toynbee in alteration to get it to work. And my left ear doesn't like it. So it's not easy. And if anyone has any tips on that, let me know. Well, yeah, that's my new hobby. So <laughs> can't use my knees. So I just go in water instead. Um, <laughs> dangerous hobby too with sharks. <laughs> Wish me luck and pray for me. <laughs>